Good afternoon, butcher. Say, do you need any help in your shop? I've got a set of skills that I think would be perfect. Oh, fine then. Walk away. <clears throat> uh, blacksmith, what about you? I can handle the heat better than any human adolescent could. What do you say? I could... Oh. Bye then. <sighs> Huntress! Oh, Huntress, surely you could use a tracker. I can give you a bird's eye view on any prey you hunt. That's, that's useful, isn't it? Come on, tell me you need my help. Uh, yes, I understand. You've already got a companion for your hunts. Oh, I'm not getting anywhere like this. It's been two months and nobody's hired me for anything. Even if I decided to be a mercenary, I wouldn't get any jobs. I guess... I guess it's about time I leave the big city and settle down somewhere. Maybe if I find a village far enough away, they won't believe all that bad luck rubbish. Huh? Oh! Uh, hello. Are you new to the city? I've never seen you before. You've been living in the forest until now? <laughs> then what made you decide to come here? Forest to the big city, that's a pretty huge difference in atmosphere, don't you think? You're getting supplies for your work? You're a witch, aren't you? I can tell by your clothing. Only witches wear capelets, and, and I see you've even got a coven pin. Ugh, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Yeah, I, I'm a familiar. I mean, well, I was? Right now, I guess I'm just a crow demon, but I was a witch's familiar. What's the difference? Well... If you mean biologically or, or anatomically or anything like that, then nothing. All familiars are demons, but one of the main differences between the two is that familiars can harness a small amount of their master's power. I'm kind of surprised you don't know this already, being a witch in a coven and all. I thought only apprentices didn't know about demons and familiars. Oh, I see. You've only just recently become a full witch. Well, in that case, congratulations! <laughs> Uh, I know we've only just met, and, and you don't know me, but I'm proud of you for making it through all that training. A lot of people give up on it part of the way through and end up choosing a different apprenticeship. Being a witch is really impressive. Yes, I've seen quite a few apprenticeships in my time. My master was quite popular with young witches in training. Many of them didn't stay with us, though. Most discovered being a witch wasn't for them, but there were some who just decided they preferred a different study of magic. Oh, my master's specialty? <laughs> Plant magic. Uh, but as a secondary practice, they did a lot of healing magic. So there were a lot of people who came to us when they were sick, and sometimes when they were injured, but mostly to keep the pain at bay. Yeah, not many witches like to take on a secondary practice because it's much more difficult, and the training is already hard enough. But I'll tell you something. Covens will look upon witches who've done more than one practice way more favorably. Oh, you... <laughs> you want to know what happened to my witch? No, I, I guess the past tense did give it away, huh? It wasn't anything crazy or anything like that. They, they, they didn't get killed by a witch hunter or something like that, but... Uh, they passed away a couple of months ago. O old age, you know? It happens to everybody, eventually. Yeah... I miss them a lot, but I'll always treasure the time the two of us had together. What? Why am I here? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, that. I, well, I... I couldn't go away when they did. I tried. We were so close, after all. There's no way I couldn't have bonded with them enough, but... Well... Sometimes, when a witch dies, their familiar doesn't disappear like they're supposed to. There are times when familiars get left behind, and a familiar without a master is considered rogue. And since familiars are demons by origin, well, you can probably figure out how people view rogue demons. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's right. We're considered bad luck. Not worth anyone's trouble. 
They say familiars get left behind because their bond with their master wasn't strong enough, but nobody really knows why some familiars get left behind and others don't. So people don't like to associate with rogue familiars because they're considered cold-hearted. Are they? Well, just like people, some of them are, but most of them aren't. <laughs> and, and I'm not just saying that because I am one. So, um, witchling, what about you? You look like you'd be able to summon a really powerful familiar. Do you have one? Oh, you... you don't have a familiar yet? Well, why is that? I thought covens don't accept witches who don't already have one. Oh, I see. You're having trouble deciding what kind of familiar you'd like to summon? I didn't even know that was how it worked. I, I always thought that you witches perform your summoning ritual and the perfect familiar just sort of showed up. <laughs> oh, oh, you can choose the type of animal demon you summon. I didn't know that at all. So then how does the perfect familiar for you end up getting summoned? It's a witch's life energy and mana that demons are attracted to? Huh, that must be why bonds tend to form so easily. <laughs> so, uh, what sorts of animals did you have in mind? Oh, those are really good options. And I can see why you're having trouble. It is one of the most important decisions of your career, after all. Sure, some witches will have enough mana in them to summon ten familiars, but that's pretty rare. Most can only have two or three. That's why beast tamers are so coveted, especially around these parts. They're the only ones who have enough extra mana to summon so many. But it takes years to get enough mana stored up in someone to even summon one familiar, because it's almost like sharing a part of yourself with a demon. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'm sure you'll be able to figure out the perfect choice for you. And remember, you aren't just limited to the traditional kinds of animals. Cats, wolves, and birds are pretty popular, but there's even different kinds of those. And there are so many other animals, like, uh, uh, bears, um, iguanas, rabbits. You just need to find out what would best suit your needs. Take me, for instance. I I'm a crow familiar. Since my master performed plant magic, they needed quick help with tending the gardens, collecting herbs, scaring away pests, and, uh, <laughs> spreading seeds around. <laughs> But someone like me can do a lot more than that. Even without a witch's mana, I can search for danger by sky, and, and blending in with other crows means I can also communicate with them. And that's pretty great when you need information from several towns away. What about when I have a master? <laughs> oh, that's the best of all! Not only do you have a sense of duty and purpose, but you can also use a portion of their power. I'm most familiar with plant magic and a little bit of healing, but you don't get to keep those abilities once your witch dies. If a new witch is willing to become your new master, then you form a bond with them, which allows you to use whatever power they've created for themselves as their own. Like, uh, if a witch who practiced water magic or even necromancy decided they wanted to keep a rogue familiar for their own, that familiar would then be able to use water to fight or protect, or, or they might be able to bring small animals back from the dead. A familiar's power is only a fraction of their master's, after all. <sighs> I hope this talk has helped you develop a better understanding of how you can use your familiar. Whatever it is you decide that you want to summon. And besides that, I, I think you've taught me a lot about how things work yourself. So thanks for that. <laughs> and uh, thanks for taking the time to talk to me. <sighs> Nobody has in a while. <laughs> You, you really didn't have to do that, but I, I appreciate it. I haven't had a nice long talk like that in a long time. I've missed it. Then, uh, well, I, uh, I guess I'll be seeing ya. <laughs> it, it was nice to meet you and... What, what? You want, you, you want me to come with you? But aren't you afraid that spending more time with me will give you bad luck? Everyone thinks so, and it doesn't help that I'm a crow. I'm supposed to be a harbinger of doom, an omen of evil. <laughs> oh, you think all that's silly? That's refreshing. I guess you're right. Uh, does... does this mean I won't have to look around for odd jobs anymore? 
And you don't mind having another witch's old familiar? Huh. The experience would be useful. Oh. Yeah, I, I never thought of it like that before, and... And you won't have to spend any mana on me, so... I I'm glad that you're willing to take me in. I promise I'll do my best and make you proud. And, and here, I'll start by carrying all the supplies you came here to get, just to prove that I'll work just as hard for you as I did my old master. So, uh... <laughs> master? What did you need to get? <laughs>